And what, what exactly does that mean? God said the ground upon which you stand is holy. Take off your shoes. One suggestion is that God burning in, in that bush, manifesting his glory, even the ground being holy or filled with some tangible expression of God's presence, and yet being separated by sin because of mankind. And it's almost like uh, the way it was described, that, that God doesn't want anything separating us from him, not even a pair of sandals. That there is something of the heart of God that says, I want to feel your feet on the sand that is filled with my glory. Because the day will come when my glory will go up through the sand and into your bodies to become the very temple in which I live and move and dwell. So here you've got the lampstand, you've got the altar of incense, you've got the table of showbread, then you've got the curtain, and on the other side is the Holy of Holies, God's throne, the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant is this tiny little chest. A wooden chest overlaid with pure gold. It is three feet nine inches long, two feet three inches high. On the top of the chest is a lid, and that lid is called the mercy seat. The bars on either side were just merely to carry it when it needed to be carried. And then on top, on either end of it, are two cherubim. Now, God said, make this exactly as I tell you, for this is a model of the real in heaven. Now, inside of that chest of the Ark of the Covenant were three things. There was Aaron's rod that budded. There was an argument a long, long ago, and people said, why does Aaron have to be the priest, and why can't our family be the priest? And so they challenged him. So they said, okay, how do we know and confirm what God has said? So they said, we'll take two rods, uh, one from your family and one from Aaron's family, and whichever rod buds, then we know that God has said that's the one that is the priestly line. The miracle of that is you have a little stick of wood cut off from its roots, it's dead. In order for it to blossom without roots or be planted into the ground would be a miracle. And also, what happened to be, since the wood is dead, and you're asking for it to blossom as the sign, you're asking for a resurrection of that little branch. So Aaron's rod that budded is a type of Jesus Christ who would die and be dead and buried and then resurrect. The second thing inside of the chest was the manna, the bread that fell from heaven through the wilderness. They put a little jar of manna inside of the ark and, and preserved it in some way. I don't, I don't think they had Tupperware, but they found something that they could put that inside the chest to remember. But interestingly, again, this second item in the chest of the Ark of the Covenant is a picture of Jesus. Because Jesus comes in the Gospel of John, chapter 6, and he says, I am the true bread that comes down to the earth from heaven. Manna in the Old Testament was a miraculous picture prophesying of Jesus. We're all men of the earth and women of the earth who came up from here and then we die. He is from heaven, originated in heaven, and came down to the earth. Divine origin. So the man of pictures him. And then thirdly, there was inside of it the Ten Commandments. Now, apparently, I, you know, there are people that claim they know where the Ark of the Covenant is or that it will be found. 